Well guys, welcome to Techbase Videos here and today I'm going to show you guys how to actually cook your own ROM. So uh, this is not how to make your own ROM, this is just how to cook your own ROM uh, for your device. So um, my device is a Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Um, so what actually I'm going to do is I'm going to download the Samsung Galaxy Nexus package, which is a jelly bean package. Uh, this actually will work for um, other ICS packages. Um, but always guys remember uh, that every package is different for every phone so um, god damn it so um, yeah let's just get started I've got here thread uh, this is very easy just to do um, I get to make my own uh, AOSP version but I'm just going to download quickly a um, the extote ROM so um, which is rooted and has busy, uh, busy box um, already installed so that's actually what you're going to do you have to find this one for yourself so uh, I uh, will set a link for this one for the Galaxy Nexus DSM version so you can pick this up so I'm going to pause it right now for two seconds and then I will have the download done alright guys I'm back again and my download is done so this took me about th uh, 40 minutes to download uh, so that's uh, relatively fast so um, Actually, what you're going to do is you're going to extract this one and you're going to make it, um, just make it a folder. And the only thing you have to worry about is actually this thing. Don't even touch this stuff. Uh, when you're cooking a ROM, you just don't need this. First of all, what you're actually going to do is you're going to add um, apps, uh, whatever you want to have. So let's go uh, into systems and apps. So you see all of the apps that are uh, pre-installed on your device. So like if you want to delete YouTube, it can just easily, easily delete YouTube. And if you want to delete um, the, let's say, the wallet, the wallet, if you don't want that, just delete it. Um, and you won't have it anymore on your ROM. So uh, again, don't touch all of this uh, because you don't need to. Uh, media is actually where your boot animation is stored. So let's open this boot animation pretty quickly. And let's see. Um, so there we go. That's actually the images of the boot animation that the Samsung Galaxy Nexus has. So you can uh, replace this uh, with your own boot animation. And right down here is one of the most awesome things you will ever see. This is the build property. And right here, I'm going to open this one with uh, Notepad Plus Plus. So um, actually, over here, you will see what it displays. So let's say you want to have a ROM name. Let's say um, YouTube ROM version 1.0. That's actually what is going to display it, which is quite awesome. So you don't want to touch all this. Just don't touch it. Um, you can set the um, number all different and stuff like that, but just don't touch it. Just only uh, change the ro.build.display.id um, to your own name. That's the only thing you actually have to do. Um, so let's head on to the meta.inf. You go into the com, you go into the Google, go into the Android, then you go into the update script. So um, actually, this is um, the way that um, you actually are going to install uh, Jelly Bean on your device. This is actually what is going to display on the CVM um, installer. So you see, uh, I've got the package by Big X E. That's actually where the package is from. Uh, of course, all the credits go to him. And um, if you want, you can always change this to your own thing. For example, to guess here, provided by the by. Let's just make this um, YouTube ROM. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> That's actually what was going to be played. Don't touch all this. Um, and actually, when it's done. The total back, you're going to do this one more time, and you're going to say, like, Hey, thanks for installing. We okay, so uh, that's actually what is going to display on the CWM installer, which is always nice to have um, because it just gives you ROM like a more thing. So, actually, there's one more option that you can always add, and that is kind of a timer, it's not really a timer. I would say, um, but to make your install like slower, like you say, like, hey, um, you get like 
10 seconds to cancel or just turn off your device if you don't want to install this ROM. You can just copy this UR print and you can paste it like two, three on the times and this will just slow it down quite a lot. So um, that's actually a little trick on how to make a little timer. That's actually how I did it. So uh, don't touch all this and um, actually the only thing you actually have to do is you select all of this auto RGIF make sure that you have a .zip file not a .raw .zip and place it on your SD card and it's sweet by CVM Clockwork Mark Recovery so uh, this actually was how to make your own ROM uh, I'm ZP from Tagways Videos and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please give me a thumbs up you can of course subscribe up there um, there will be a lot more videos coming uh, like how to compile Android in Linux Ubuntu so uh, that's coming too and uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace. <coughs> you just see my camtars here. Lol. Get away. Why are you still here? Get away please. Get away. Get away. We're still looking. It's not, there's nothing here. Get away God. Get a life.